it's your first time it may be difficult, but... Or at least rough. I will almost certainly die. It will be glorious! So this is StarCraft 1 Kerrigan Survival. Killer is our Kerrigan. I'm a scientist. And my oh. job is to blink away as quickly as possible. No, you don't blink. You don't blink? Uh, it's a five minute cooldown. Okay. You want to blink from high ground to low ground and vice versa. What you want to do is you want to go into uh, a distant far corner of the map, preferably on some high ground, mm -hmm. and start building income generators. If you've played Probe versus Zealot, I think the scientist is the closest thing we have to a probe. Okay. Uh, so civilian with toolkit would be what you need to make... Oh. It's your SCV. It repairs, builds walls, all sorts of stuff like that. Income main... generator, yeah? Yep. And you want to... Uh, I forget if we buffed... Um, uh, what you want is... Where am I going? Let's here. See, where are you? What color are you? I'm blue in the... Right now I'm in the bottom left, but I'm moving up to another place. You're blue? Blue is not in the bottom left. Blue is goody. Well, I don't know what color I am then. Uh, oh, you are purple. Purple, yeah, okay. okay. I'm, I'm partly colorblind. Not really. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, but sometimes I think I am because I just don't... I'm not very good colors. So, th what Kerrigan has is... Car the, the main difference in this cat and mouse game versus other cat and mouse games, so mm -hmm. there's two main differences. One, the cat actually has an army. So Kerrigan can make up to 400 zerglings that just kind of roam around the map. They, auto they, move, around, they move on their own. Mm -hmm. um, and the second thing is that everything has no vision. You'll notice that everything that you own, except your main scientist, actually doesn't have any vision. Okay. And so that's part of the game. It's very hard for Kerrigan. So Kerrigan's, Kerrigan finding you has to do more about whether you attack a Zergling and Kerrigan is notified that one of its units has been attacked at a particular location mm -hmm. uh, rather than like Kerrigan actually seeing you. So by you being here, uh, gates also don't really do anything. This is not uh, so much of a basing game as it is a... Where's your income generators? You should be... So all your money should be going into income generators. Mm -hmm. uh, it like... Okay, he's new. He doesn't know what he's doing. The only other person who knows what he's doing is... Well, he's played a couple times, but he's not good. Oh, he's just getting wrecked. Well, and you so he's... You can salvage buildings, right? Yep, you can salvage buildings, yes. Oh my god, this Kerrigan is not making these Zerglings. So, uh, yeah, and you can upgrade the income generators. Um, Gates will just instantly die. Kerrigan is designed to crush any base she finds. So this is a cross between cat and mouse and hide and seek. Uh, because hiding is more important than actually defending. If she shows up, you get out, basically, is what it is. Um, there, there are, in some few cases, if you're, like, fairly strong, you can, like, put up a, put up some resistance and fight and stall. But mm -hmm. basically, if she shows up, you leave. Um, which is why walling is not necessarily the best tactic, mm -hmm. because you're going to leave anyway. And so, do you feed if you wall? Is that the concern? Uh, no, it's that your income is... Uh, is set is set back right now you have one income every it says three seconds i think three or four i forget whether we nerfed it or buffed it uh, well, i have how much per per uh generator right have, it's one it's one per i have five generators right now just, oh you do i just spread them out. i threw them one in each corner of this lower zone so does he have vision of the spawning area where we all spawned no he is, uh, Kerrigan, so Kerrigan has no vision on any of her units except Kerrigan herself. Okay. Everything is one vision. It physically has to collide into something to attack it. So the hardest part about Kerrigan is locating everyone's bases. Uh, and she's supposed to use Zerglings all across, they spread out on their own to find, and these Zerglings are supposed to find it for Kerrigan. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Uh, but this guy's, this guy is, this guy looks new and he's not making Zerglings, so you'll so we'll probably just steamroll this Kerrigan. That's better than getting steamrolled your first game. Yeah. Well, at least usually. <laughs> so well, it can go either way, you know. So you, you do wanna Oh, I see. You spread them out in the starting location, yeah. So um spreading out is not uh if Kerrigan chooses to make Zerglings, Kerrigan's terrible at that point, yeah. Now now, right, now right. that so, I understand the mechanics, I'm like, yeah. 
A lot of the time, this would be terrible, but since he's not doing that most of the time. Ah, uh, rip. Oh. Salvage. Run. Salvage those. Yep. Oh, uh, both. So, Kerrigan. So what you can do is, uh, the scientist has a thing called the hairspray and lighter, which is a which is a flamethrower. The paradigm turret. What you can do is, if paradigm turret also has no vision, but if you equip it with a, if you build a flashlight next to a paradigm turret, looking something like that, uh, if you do something like that, uh, and you just put it in various locations, if you put them in various locations, Kerrigan spread out lings will just get killed by your uh, flamethrower. And that's the way, so that's how the mechanic works. So Kerrigan tries to spread links to get vision. Mm -hmm. um, all the all the mice try to do, try to basically deny her from having useful vision. If you kill something with, if you randomly scatter, if you randomly scatter things that kill zerglings, the information to Kerrigan isn't useful. It's basically like, oh, I have these, I have this one structure here that's killing your scouts, um, and that that delays Kerrigan from actually finding your base. I oh see. shoot. So right now they're the 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 most experienced two most experienced players by far, Namd and me, we're both Dark Templar. The goal of the Dark Templar, we gain strong we get stronger by killing things that Kerrigan makes. But one of the things that we do, especially against weaker Kerrigans, is we distract her. We're constantly poking and prodding at her health and her units, and they'll go after us. And she'll go after us instead of you guys, so you guys can keep incoming. Cool. Well, I'm probably playing thoroughly because I'm not incoming nearly enough, but you know. Just just income as hard as you can. So you make unit, you made units. Uh, so if you take a look at the amount of damage your units do, they do like this Marauder will do 30 damage to carry. Wait, wait, so is the bunker the flashlight? No, the flashlight is the sensor tower. Oh, why is it called sensor tower? Uh, this was was so this game has changed a lot. Initially, it was themed as like a zombie survival thing. I was mm -hmm. like. It was like, oh, you, 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 this is your flashlight. This is your civilian with the toolkit because it's like the zombie apocalypse, and they decided to leave that theme. And so scientists have not had its stuff renamed yet. So this is a really like sloppy map because it's been being developed more than polished. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that just gave me a lot of gas. Oh, don't die! Don't die! So Kerrigan is thoroughly distracted right now with the two dark templar. And there are currently four playable roles with two in development. Dark Templar is a role, Scientist is a role. None of my ones in the corners have gotten hit yet, so that's nice. I don't even see... Oh, wow, very far in the corner, yeah. So what you do is, you, if you want to if you want to guard it, you put, like, a hairspray and flashlight, so mm -hmm. tradition turret and... Oh, you found one. Oh, I did oh. it? No? Oh. Oh, I just missed a bunch of experience. Oh, oh we shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, he just used the storm. I think this guy just found the make zergling button. So he just made a lot of zerglings. Oh, do you, do, does Kerrigan also passively make zerglings? No, Kerrigan has to actively. Oh, no, no, no. Because he had three zerglings before. He killed like one or two. No, but them. like he's made like 30 now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, come on, swipe. This is hard. Storm. Oh, he's only at six energy. Okay, let him go. Okay. And so, if you watch the DTs, you'll see that the lings just kind of random. The you'll well, this carrying is not very good. We actually just clean up all the lings that she Wait. made. Hmm. Thorgrok is on the move with his little army of marines. Oh yeah, yeah. He 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 was here to heal the DT for this medic. Which is uh, pretty useful. How do you get gas? So gas is gas is uh, you get gas by killing things. Oh, okay. So like yeah. zerglings. Uh, yeah, zerglings will give one gas, for example. So the idea is that you're incentivized in making army to fight Kerrigan instead of just camping the whole game. Uh, Chrono Boost, I believe, I think, I think we nerfed Chrono Boost to a 50% thing. So it's basically, if you have a, if you have a plus two generator, for example, it's like having 1.5 that plus two generator if you, can, if you can find 10 gas to Chrono it. So one of the best things to do is, uh, let's see if someone here is doing this properly. Uh, no, no one is doing this properly. So by putting like, putting a flamethrower and a, uh, flashlight 
on in like on like the high ground corner it just like it slowly just snipes off passing by lings you'll i, I guess in later I, I guess if you play again later i can show it to you it's very common tactic very annoying to kerrigan and very effective at getting lots of third lings uh, i'm still level one. Oh my god so many lings god damn why am i not there where's it where, where is it man where is it he needs to scrum that so the tooltip for buying civilian with a rocket says really to attack nerf, but the Marauder unit on his attack does not say <laughs> to attack. So, okay, so the scientist is, um, so the, I joined as Codev, mm -hmm. uh, main, uh, the initial, initial mapper's name is Geo, mm -hmm. and I joined Geo's team because Geo, this is basically the first map he's made. He's not very good at map making. So I was like, I like this game, and I'd like to see it go further. So I was like, okay, I'll join your mapping team. So, hit, hit, so the scientist is is kind of like, it's his thing. So it's kind of, uh, uh, oh my god, no! I just got no! Oh, I misclicked. Why? God damn! Did you lose, dude? No, I didn't lose, but I had storm. Um, and I joined Geo. So like, he, he does not like polish all that well. Uh, oh, he got a level. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, this is good. How do you get the uh, DT hero? So there, there are four. There are four currently playable classes, and um, two under development. Uh, DT is not available to someone who- it, it's, it's in the in initial selection screen. I chose to play as DT in this game. Oh, I see. Need to level up. Need to level- need to level- level me up. Oh, they yeah. found me. And you run. Salvage and run. Salvage and run. Okay, the nuke is good. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming with a storm. I'm first running and then- Oh, that storm's- Oh my god! <laughs> How much gas did you get for that? I got 181 gas. All right, so that's eight. So, all right. Well, you you'll probably need to leave though. So get your main dude and leave. Yeah, he's you, already gone. I made. Oh, he's gone. He's long gone. I was like, okay. Oh, okay, great. Uh, all right, that's good news. Oh, and my my dude has more at levels, but he's gonna die now. You can if you give him the ability Ooh, to hyper jump. Hyper jump. Yeah, hyper jump. Jump off the cliff. Jump off the cliff. Oh, no! no! What? No! What are you doing? There we go. There oh, we go. Oh, that storm! Vanish oh, that storm! Salvage! 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 No! 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 The small things okay. don't matter as long as you salvage your income generators. But that that was a level five income generator I needed to salvage, so I'm glad I got it. <laughs> Level 5? That's a plus 16? Uh, no, level 4, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> the levels on the Gawain seem really confusing because it'll say 9 and I'll click 1 and then all the levels will be. Okay, so the. So, the, so, and, so basically everything that you play. Uh, will be kind of a little janky because, uh, like I said, this is this is Geo's dude. If you play, if you play, like say, like the other three roles, the ones that I've developed, they're a lot cleaner. There's there's still bugs, but like the tool tips and like the explanations, they'll be a lot cleaner. Yeah. Okay. So just just pardon the bad jokes and the uh, yeah for now. Okay, let's get the DT upgrade. Cause I haven't gotten. Oh, I'm finally two two. Okay. No, I'm 1-1. One, one. Okay, I'm 1-1, one, one, finally. I needed 1-1 one, one a long time ago. The He's like... There's no real limit on guys you can make. Nope. So you can pretty much just spam units non-stop. Well, usually you don't have the money. If you can afford to... Save the Thor! Save the Thor! Wait. Hyper... What? Right. Oh, I didn't... I didn't... Ah, I think I might have attack notifications off. Oh, that's pretty bad. Attack notifications are pretty important in this game. Yeah, they get really old in some other custom. Oh maps. yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I mean, I don't play without sound, uh, so it's not that bad. But I see what you mean. Plus uh, sixteen from these zerglings. Oh uh, yeah. I need to go. Oh, see, see, see. Okay, see that, see that hairspray right there. Like it's just like, 
it's just going ham on lings, you just like randomly build those because there are so many lings all across the map. If you just randomly build this hairspray lighter, uh, hairspray and flashlight combination, you'll get so much gas. Now that you have gas, you can chrono your generators. So you have like infinite gas, so just make just chrono all of them. And you get you get a reasonable bit more money. People who it pe says if you upgrade the tower, right? Like if I want to, up, should I upgrade all my income generators and then chrono them? Uh, it it doesn't matter. It stays. Okay. It stays through upgrades. So a chrono generator will stay up. So the maximum generator is a one twenty eight. Uh, you can win once you hit around plus one hundred income. Uh, chrono plus one hundred income. Chrono plus one fifty not chrono is about. Uh, at the point when at which you win. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably now safer in my base than I am out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so um, high-skilled scientists will um, often move around with small groups of marines and medics to snipe off wandering circlings because they're, good, they're, they're strong enough to do that. Yeah. Um, oh, hello, Kerrigan. Ah, oh, that storm, that juicy storm. Oh, man, the, no, he's going to get all the kills. I want the kills. Give me the kills. Give me the kills. Oh, oh, don't, don't die. Don't die. Okay, well, you can take the kills. God dang it, he stole all my kills. Oh, oh, don't die! Don't die! Okay, let's get plus two. And so Red got out of there. Let's see, who is a medic line here? Medic? Medic? Ah, I got life upgrades. I'm pretty far ahead of this carry. We should be fine. So how are you doing with income? Okay, so you, you are those your four generators that you have? Uh, yeah, I still have four in the bottom, all at level one, just about. Then I have a plus four, a plus four, a plus two, and a plus two. Okay, okay. Oh, that's odd. Oh, no, it's fine. I don't think he's found any of these low generators in the bottom, so maybe I should actually up them a little bit, too. If you've noticed, uh, this Kerrigan has not found very much on the map at all. Like, you see, you see a lot of people with very healthy running bases, like, Look at red up top. Look at look at that array. Of, oh 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 oh! One cannon. Oh, I'm gonna go down there and save that. I have two sanctuaries. This is I've I've actually haven't been this powerful as a dark templar in a oh, while. Just no no no! I just right. upgraded that one. Right. So there's a, there's like a lot of there's some luck and chance. But the lings don't spread perfectly, and uh, it actually—it's actually very hard as Kerrigan to continuously like keep zerglings wandering around the whole map. Mm -hmm. uh, it becomes very hard to build once Kerrigan establishes a strong hold with like zerglings everywhere around the map. Like that's when it becomes like really tough to do anything. Um, so the idea is you make—if Kerrigan does that, then you try to gain gas from the zerglings that she's making because Kerrigan's like trying to obtain map control by making these zerglings. So you, there's a lot of feed for you. So the idea is you want to match her attempts to get map control by feeding off of it and then turn that gas into a supercharged economy. Um, and that's how you kind of fight back against the map control. So it's like a it's like a struggle all around the map for her to get vision of it, to find bases, and for everyone else to try to hide that information. Let's see. Level 5 DT, this is pretty solid. Oh my gosh, I get 24 gas a hit. I shot her with a fireball, but it didn't really do very much. Well, so the fireball does 300 damage. It'll like... It'll get a lot. It'll do a lot of damage, but Kerrigan is 100,000 health. Storm? So like, okay, so can this guy heal me? Can he? yeah, please. So, uh, 
I, you, you did 300 damage with that hit. My DT does 300 damage in attack because it's it's strong enough to do that much damage. The idea of the DT, it's more of a support thing, but if the DT gets fed enough, uh, eventually DT will just like absolutely roll through this tear again. Okay. Oh, well, so that's dang. You left. You, you got angry. You got angry. That actually happens. That actually happens quite frequently, mm -hmm. and I would one of the greatest concerns for this game for, for everyone who like tests and uh, develop uh, develops it is uh, why is Kerrigan not fun? And if you could help me with that, that'd be wonderful. You don't have to play Kerrigan right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, like this doesn't have to be like oh grind like five games tonight so you can help me with that. Just like if you ever find if you. If, if you're bored and you come on arcade and you see this map open, well, yeah, I can try to do it next Saturday with my event group. Oh, that would be, that would be that would be amazing. Um, but even the most experienced players, I am the only Kerrigan who really enjoys playing Kerrigan. I have like I have a I have a ninety percent win rate with Kerrigan. I'm very good at Kerrigan. So but, I mean, is is it that there's a high? Is it that it's a kind of a parabolic arc that you know you have that initial brick Eerie. wall, but as soon as you get going, it just spirals up? Mm. Are you talking about like the skill curve or like yeah. the so in game? Like oh, you, basically, you hit that brick wall of difficulty where you can't do anything, but then as soon as you break through that difficulty wall, you then win pretty much every game. It's maybe, but the thing is, there are very few people who've broken through that. So we're now at the we're finally. Over this last week, the um, Geo, the other developer, and uh, yeah. Nand, who's the, who's my, basically my main tester, he plays like all day almost. They finally be also become proficient enough Kerrigans to win in most win against most lobbies in most situations. But even they still find it frustrating. Um, it's like I don't know. It's it there. It it is really hard to do well. That's why a lot of newbies struggle, but it's still hard to explain, I guess, why people don't enjoy it. I don't know. Wait, so if you die right now, can you be saved? Uh, oh, yeah, if you die, you come back as a ghost SCV, mm -hmm. which can go around and build stuff and be annoying, but you can't, you won't ever, like, get strong enough to kill Karen. Like, you're, you're basically harmless, you're basically a flea to Kerrigan once you die. You can still like play your heart out and make the flea as annoying as possible, but you're not gonna like actually kill her. We're gonna play again. You gotta go. No, yeah, I'm gonna do it again. I was just. Uh, I'll invite you. I was reading reviews. So the problem with the reviews is that when when I first found this game, mm -hmm. this game looked absolutely nothing like what it does now. A lot of the game that it a lot because my partner is much slower and less experienced with the editor i have been doing i've had more and more influence on the map since then and i've developed it more and more into my vision whereas like when i first found the map it was entirely what he wanted so it's moved away from that uh wait so why aren't these so they're not all relevant why aren't they zombie cats luminous come on zombie cats <laughs> so it was it was zombie themed, but like, so so he made them all primal zerg, not like actual zerg, because it looks slightly more zombie-ish to have primal zerg. But uh, and we really need to overhaul the terrain. Uh, the terrain is so gray and so. <laughs> so, right, I'm gonna stop I, this video. I, I, Basically, the 